So at this point we know obviously Keith is in Holton working the crowd right there. Dana Osgood joins us with the forecast. I'm out of words to describe how lucky we were today. We've seen like, all the different live shots of different people all around the state, and it really just highlights how gorgeous of a day it is. Dare I say, mm -hmm. the best day of the year so far. Maybe. It would feel that way. I think I think we deserve it a day like this. We do have some more weather coming in later this week, so I think we should enjoy today while we have it. Beautiful conditions out there today. Only a few clouds earlier, and other than that, it was a beautiful, perfectly sunny day here in Maine, and significantly warmer than it was yesterday. A lot of us between 10 to almost 15 degrees warmer than we were at this time yesterday. So. The eclipse caused the temperature to drop by a couple of degrees, but that was only for a few minutes. So most of us were able to very quickly bounce back into temperatures in the upper 50s and even some 60s earlier today. Still 60 degrees in Lewiston, 61 in Augusta, 62 in Bangor. Just makes for a really awesome day out there. But we do have some more weather to talk about coming up later this week. So overnight tonight, just a couple of clouds moving in from the west. So a mostly clear night overnight tonight. Temperatures won't drop too far because we're already starting at such a high margin. And then tomorrow ends up being a really nice day too. Mostly sunny throughout the day, a little bit cooler than it was today. Like today we had upper 50s to low 60s. I would say lower 50s to mid 50s throughout the day tomorrow, but still a really nice day, especially in comparison to the rest of the week because this is when things start to go a little bit south. Wednesday at about 8 a.m., we do have a warm front that's going to move through our area. It's going to be pretty weak because it'll be kind of falling apart, but that'll bring some scattered showers throughout the day on Wednesday. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies. You can see here Wednesday at 4 p.m. Got some of those showers moving through areas Bangor and North. And then once this system kind of moves out, it's going to have a, another system that comes in very quickly behind it that's going to bring us even more rain. So right now we have an area of high pressure over us both today and tomorrow, and that's what gives us that plenty of sunshine. And then here's where we have that kind of dying warm front moving in for the day Wednesday, which is going to cause our scattered showers. And then a much bigger system moves in right behind it. We're going to be in the warm sector of this system, so we're going to see mostly rain as opposed to any snow or mixed precipitation. But because we're in the warm sector, that's going to be an inside runner storm. That does mean that we could have a wind threat coming in for Friday. So starting the day on Thursday, it's going to kind of go from showers to more consistent rain later in the day. And then the rainiest day of the bunch is definitely going to be Friday. Also watching the chance of those southerly winds may cause some power outages and some flooding issues. This is a bit of a long duration system too because it lasts all the way through some scattered rain showers on Saturday. So we're going to closely monitor the wind threat coming up for Friday. I do think a few power outages are likely because we had that southerly wind direction, which historically hasn't been a great direction for us, about 45 to 50 miles per hour. So marine forecast sees two to four feet, water 41 degrees there. So in terms of our seven day forecast, the first half of the week is definitely better. Today was a really, really awesome day. And then tomorrow I think is going to be pretty good too. But then once we start to build in that next system for Wednesday, we got that precipitation to worry about Wednesday all the way through Saturday. Temperatures still though in the upper 40s to low 50s. So it is going to be a bit on the warmer side there. But Zach Bryan looks like the second half of the weekend looks pretty good for that day on Sunday. And we're going to monitor that threat on Friday as that storm develops. All right, just soak up that sun these next yes, couple of days. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Thanks, Dana.